How's it going, viewers? Super Sam, 6i7 here, and I am back once again on uh, my Sam's Guide to Minecraft World. Um, and today, in today's episode, I should say, uh, we are going to get to work on what's going to be my future home. Um, so this little place is probably not going to get as used as much, um, uh, but... I just want to show you a little bit of an update. I, in the last few days, I've been trying to do a bunch of mining, and I would say I was pretty successful. Um, I got 23 diamonds, which I'm happy about. Uh, I got a whole bunch of redstone, a bunch of iron, uh, I got a bit of lapis, I have a bit of gold now, um, yeah, so that's all really good. I think I'm going to hold out on making anything with diamond. For a little bit longer, I think I might make a pick uh, pretty soon to mine up some obsidian. But other than that, I think I'm just going to hold off and save my diamonds. Um, and actually, I another interesting thing that just like just happened uh, like about two minutes ago before I started recording, I got a bow from a skeleton. Um, so that's cool. I didn't even need to craft it, even though I could have. I mean, I've got eight string. Um, but yeah, so I've got a bow now, I guess. I, I don't know if I'm going to actually use it right now, but... Um, yeah, so that's all really cool. Um, but I'm going to get on with today's agenda. Um, so I've got all the materials in my hand already. Or well, in my inventory, I should say. Um, so let's go out, and... This is the base of it. I only went up to three blocks of this entire thing um, because you know I wanted to uh, I wanted to show you guys how it was like formulated basically <laughs> um, and just that everyone can get kind of an idea of how it's going to be. And by the way, this cobblestone here, uh, this is something I have to announce. This is going to be where the first nether portal will be in this world um, and that is actually going to be where the nether hub is going to be um, and I think I might explore the nether in the next episode just why I need to mine up that obsidian um, but uh, yeah so I'll just go ahead and show you a little bit of the design I already added in some of the coarser underneath as well just also give everyone a little bit of a rough idea the coarser is not absolutely final. Uh, I still have a few more touches to do on it. I just kind of ran out of coarse dirt. Um, which I ran out of coarse dirt because I ran out of gravel. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So this is going to be pretty cool. I don't know if I'm going to do all of the finishing touches inside. But I'm going to at least build the building. Um, and for those of you who have no idea what the 100 is, um, this is going to be the drop... Well, for those of you who do know, this is going to be the drop ship. Um, and for those of you who don't know, the dropship is basically like a, almost like a escape pod rocket kind of a thing. Um, that was basically sent down to Earth, and it's in the middle of their base camp, basically. Like, this is where they landed, and they made the base camp around the dropship. And so now I'm basically making the dropship as if it was my home. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to build up the next few blocks of it, and I will get back to you guys. Alright, so, it's raining right now, unfortunately, but uh, here you go, this is actually the uh, outside of the entire first floor. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, the first floor isn't really going to have much. Um, I mean, here's the spawn point, and there's going to be like a ladder here, uh, and then, you know, there's going to be the, the big portal. Um, but otherwise, there isn't really going to be much. Because uh, it's all going to be in the upper. Uh, I think this, I think I plan there to be. Yeah, yeah. I plan there to be uh, two more floors. Um, so and that's really where everything's going to be at. But um, nevertheless, though, I think this is still pretty cool. Uh, it definitely came out really nice. Uh, and I think I'm going to get to work on the next floor, and I'll get back to you guys. All right. So there you go, uh, I now have the two floors, like the actual floor themselves, uh, complete. And I just realized that for whatever reason, it's still raining. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, 
I'll give everyone a little bit of a tour. So I actually not only added the outside walls, but I decided I'm going to add the uh, the ladder in here. Um, yeah. So, and then uh, here's what is on top. And this rain is seriously messing with my frame rates. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah. Uh, let me see if I can uh, fix that. I, I have commands enabled, obviously, for the for the world board and everything. Let me see. Uh, I, I had to toggle it once before because it was getting to a standstill. Uh, let me see, just for video's sake, if I can toggle the downfall. If it'll make everything better. Um, okay, well, actually, yeah, that is, uh, that is quite a bit better. <laughs> um... But yeah, so I made sure to leave the hole for the nether portal uh, that will be here. Um, it's going to be really cool to just see like a big giant uh, nether portal in like the big front of this whole building. Um, it's going to be really neat. Um, and I can't wait to get started with all that stuff. Um, which I think I might actually collect the stuff for the portal next one. I don't think I'm gonna explore the Nether yet for a little bit, though. Um, I don't know. Maybe, probably not next episode. Maybe the one after. Um, but uh, yeah, so I think I'm just gonna do a little bit of building here, and I think that while I build, I will just talk about some stuff. Um, so let's see. I. So at the time of this recording, uh, let's see what's going on in my life and everything. Um, so school has started back up for me, which is a little bit of a sad thing because that means that I'm going to have less time to do stuff. Um, but it's okay. Uh, I'll, I'll try to find some time to do more things, um, but, uh, it's, in school has been in session for me for about a week now, um, at, you know, the time of this recording, uh, and in case anyone wanted to know, uh, I not only do I love school, but, um, so far it has been great, and to be honest, I just absolutely love being there. <laughs> it's a little bit of a weird thing to say. Um, but yeah, so unfortunately, I'm going to be a little bit more busy than before uh, because of school, but that's fine. Um, so, let's see, what else? Um, there's been a bunch of new snapshots recently. Um, there was, what was it like? Uh, 15W34, 35C or D, something like that, um, released. That was a, that was pretty cool. Um, they added, like, the, the whole Dragon's Breath potion effect kind of thing that you can add to your potions, um, to make, like, lingering potions. I think it's actually kind of a cool idea, um, especially for map makers, like me. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do for that. Um, and I'm really excited to explore options. Um, and I mentioned before that, I mean, you could use, like, the, the potion of uh, levitation for, like, gravity manipulation. And, and I think that some of these things that they're doing are, like, almost just engineered for map makers. And I actually kind of love that. Um, so I'm excited to see <laughs> what kind of stuff I can do with it. I'm excited to see what other people do with it. Um, and oh my gosh, and like the big change that I didn't really know if I liked at first um, was the change that they did to command blocks. I like halfway liked it, halfway did not like it at first. And then I kind of messed around with it a little bit more and I realized it's actually not too bad. Um, 
And because I mean, like this, basically added a whole bunch of new uh, command block types, essentially, um, which is kind of different and kind of makes a lot of stuff that people have been doing for a long time obsolete. Um, which is kind of the reason why I didn't fully like it at first, because it kind of made me have to redo a lot of stuff that I was doing, or at least kind of change some aspects of it um, into a different way. Um, but nevertheless, though, I do think it is pretty cool, uh, some of the things you can do with it. Uh, it does seem like they're trying to make it easier for people who love command blocks. Um, so, I mean, me being one of them, uh, that's that's a good thing. Um, it means that some of the harder things to do are now going to be pretty easy. Um, so that's, that's not terrible, I suppose, but I don't know. You, you never know. <laughs> um, let's see, what else was in that update? Um, oh, yeah, they now have shields. Uh, and that, that's pretty cool. Um, I like what they did with the shields. I, I, I definitely think they did that right. Although, to be honest, the one thing I would change is to make different shapes. Like, I was really hoping for a round one so that I could probably, like, color it like Captain America colors and then use a command block to make it so that when you throw it, it just rebounds back to you. But they're all just rectangles, so that doesn't really work. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I do think the shields are pretty cool, uh, and they're pretty useful. I mean, I can think of a lot of uses for the shields, um, especially in combat operations and things like that. And I think I totally just messed up. Um, oh no, it's not as bad as I thought it was. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, yeah, so I think the shields were pretty good. Um, oh, wait, maybe I did mess up as much as I think I did. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, the whole uh, timer thing with the hits, I didn't really like that at first um, until I realized the purpose of them. And I think they fill the purpose really well, which is the purpose is to eliminate kind of like the spam click uh, PvP stuff, uh, which is actually the one thing that I've always hated about PvP, and it's because, as you can tell, my game doesn't exactly have the best uh, <laughs> FPS, so if it's just a game of spamming uh, left click, I would typically lose, because either, I mean, either it's just my lack of skill or it would just be the fact that I wouldn't have enough SPS to actually hit at the same rate. Um, so this kind of makes it a little bit more fair in that kind of sense. So I once I realized that it was for that specific purpose, I actually realized that that was probably the best thing they could do to solve that. Um, and I have to candid them, I don't think I would have thought of that. Um, so uh, I, th I think that's pretty cool, um, although I think that they should change the values for some of the times. I do think that some of them are a little off, <laughs> um, like for instance the fact that now hoes are a little uh, overpowered, that, that's a little weird to me. Um, yeah, I, I think that they still have a lot of work to do uh, with that, but oh wow there's a creeper down there. Um, Okay, I don't know where that creeper came from, um, but I will be careful around him. I do not want him to blow up anything. Um, let's see, uh, what else was in that update? Uh, the changes to the dragon. Um, I like I like what they did with the dragon, um, and uh, I think that the dragon fight is going to be a little bit more interesting now. Um, now that like it has this like acid breath attack, um, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of a neat idea, um, and uh, and you know it, it's things like that that I think are making the 1.9 update uh, such a good one uh, because there's just so many like new inventive things 
Um, I think it's really just going to change the game. Um, and I'm excited for that. And, uh, oh, yeah, and then some of the other things that I didn't even realize until a few days ago, uh, the fact that now glass panes and iron bars are now rods. Um, I don't, I don't really know about that. Because the thing is, is that sometimes I just want that, uh, you know, that, that plus. Um, and now it's kind of going to be gone. So, that kind of sucks. I mean, I think that they should have just added, like, an entirely different, like, glass rod or whatever. Um, but, uh, I don't know. We'll just see what they do with it, because... Yeah, I'd, I'm not so sure about that. Um, I mean, I do think that they look really nice, but that... Whoa, I almost just fell off the edge. <laughs> but, um, I just really miss, um, the, like, the good old-fashioned, uh, plus sign stuff. So, I feel like, um, whoops. I feel like some builds might lose a little something due to that. Uh, but at the same time, you know, some builds are probably going to gain things. Um, so yeah, so uh, we'll just have to see what they do. Um, I really do hope that they just basically change it so that there's both at the same time. Because that's really what I want, but I don't know. Um, oh, the whole thing with trapdoors, where now they're just like their own separate block. I've been wanting that ever since I used my first trapdoor. Um, I was like, why do I have to attach this onto a block? I want it to be a block by itself. And now it's finally happening, so that makes me so, so happy. Um, do I have any... Oh, I do. Yay. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I think that is really, really good. Um... What else? Uh, they didn't really change anything else, really. Um, I mean, I think this is definitely going to be a big change for uh, for PvP and just mob combat in general, um, which I guess is why it's called the combat update. <laughs> um, but it changes a few of my own plans for some things, um, because I had some map ideas and some top secret projects uh, that I will be slowly releasing information to uh, at a later date when more information becomes available. <laughs> um, and uh, it kind of changes that up a little bit and actually in a way it kind of makes it better. Oh, and the rain's back. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that's really just my thoughts on it um but i, I mean i want to hear your thoughts though uh what do you all think about 1.9 how do you think it's going um how do you like the dual wielding how do you like how do you like the the new recharge function with your attacks um how do you like all of it um like i said i i like almost all of it and the rest of it i kind of oh no ouch that hurt <laughs> I kind of like slash dislike. Um, so yeah, um, I think I might just finish up the rest of this floor, uh, and then I will get right back to you with probably the conclusion of this episode. Okay, uh, so I have all three floors of this thing done. Um, that's really good. Uh, it's really good. <laughs> um, it looks pretty great from the outside. I have to say, I like it. Um, I think the design worked out really well. Um, there's not really any detail in on the inside yet, uh, but I think I'm going to do that in the next episode. Um, so I'll probably save up my resources for that. But I'll go ahead and give you guys a tour uh, so far. Um, so. Right here uh, is going to be the space for the nether portal. Uh, that's going to be great. The first nether portal is going to be right there. Uh, going up a floor. Ooh, here we go. 
<laughs> going up a floor. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm going to be putting in this room. Um, I might put like some furnaces or something like that. Um, and then I think I might put uh, some storage uh, in the next one um, up here. Uh, so yeah, so that's going to be pretty cool. Um, looks good so far. Uh, it's just unfurnished. And then on the roof, I'm going to be putting like a big detail on the top of it. I just, uh, I wanted to make it out of wool, um, and I don't have any wool. <laughs> um, I don't want to make it out of a uh, carpet. Um, like I, I don't, I think I was going to make it out of gray and maybe some light gray. Uh, like make kind of like intricate design to put on the top. Um, but yeah, I don't have any because I don't have any ink. Uh, there's a water source over there, but I shrunk the world border. <laughs> so I don't think I'll be able to get over there. Um, yeah, I, I shrunk the world border just because it was getting out of hand. Um, I will show you where it's at right now. It's not very far away. Um, yeah, you can see it from here. Um, so yeah, it's right there. But, uh, whatever. Um, but yeah, um, this is looking pretty good. Uh, I like it. Um, I'm planning on putting like some banners in the front here to make um, like a kind of like a covering. Um, like if you if anyone's watched the hundred, uh, you'll know there's like a big um, like these basically like a parachute uh, in front of it, and I'm gonna be using that, uh, but as banners. Um, and I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Um, and then also around the area, I'm gonna put like a few like tents. Um, I think you're also gonna look really good and uh, yeah so I think this is gonna be uh, a pretty good project um, I'm excited to work on it uh, and especially with all the things coming out with 1.9 I think it's gonna be really really good it's gonna look amazing um, oh, and I'm in my hole I didn't realize that um, yeah so I'm really really excited for this uh, and I think that this main building might be finished up by the next episode, and then probably after that we'll head on into the nether. Um, so that's going to be great, it's going to be exciting. Um, but yeah, I think that'll be the end of this episode though. So uh, if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to leave a like. If you liked me, feel free to subscribe. But that's about it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.